Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we are going to look at a question that has been giving most of you challenges and this question is under the topic rates, ratios and proportion. The question is going to pop up in your screen and let us go through it together. It says a hot water tub can fill a bath in seven minutes while a cold water tap can fill the same bath in five minutes. The drain pipe can empty the full bath in 430 minutes. The two taps and the drain pipe, the two taps and the drain pipe are fully open for two and a half minutes, after which the drain pipe is closed. How much longer will it take to fill the bath? You can pause the video and go through the question again so that you understand it. The hot water tap can fill the bath in seven minutes and the cold water tap can fill the same bath in five minutes. These two taps are filling the bath. Now the drain pipe can empty the bath in four and a third minutes. Also can be written as 13 over three minutes. In improper fraction so the first thing we need to do is to get the pro the portion the what proportion of the tank that can be full in one minute that is what we want to calculate therefore we'll say if the hot water tap can empty in seven minutes therefore we'll say if the hot water tap can fill the bath in seven minutes that is one whole bath therefore what part or what portion of the bath can be filled in one minute and therefore that will be one times one all over seven and you'll have one over seven of the bath the same calculation we'll do with the cold tap and we'll notice that the cold tap will take one over five of the bath And finally, the drain pipe will be if in 13 over 3 minutes, the drain pipe can empty the whole tank. Therefore, in one minute, what portion of the tank can be emptied by the drain pipe? That will be 1 times 1 divided by 13 over 3. And you'll notice that the drain pipe will take... 3 over 13 of the bath. Now, we have noticed that the hot water tap takes 1 over 7, the cold water tap takes 1 over 5, and the drain pipe takes 3 over 13 of the bath. Now, when all the pipes are working, it therefore means 1 over 7 of the bath is being filled in 1 minute by the hot water tap, 1 over 5 of the bath is being filled in one minute by the cold water tap and finally the drain pipe is taking away 3 over 13 of the tap it therefore th the drain pipe is taking away 3 over 13 of the bath it therefore means that the portion of the bath that will be left when all these three pipes are working in one minute will be one all over 455 now remember the question stated that the three pipes are left working for two and a half minutes. Now, what will take place in two and a half minutes when all the three pipes are working? You'll simply state and say that if in one minute, whatever it is that is being added in the bath will be 51 all over 455. Therefore, two and a half minutes can also be written as five over two. In, two, in 5 over 2 minutes, what will be taken care of? So 5 over 2 times 51 over 455. And we'll have 255 all over 910. It therefore means in 2 minutes, in 2 and a half minutes, we'll have 
255 all over 910 of the bar. 55 over 910 in its simplest form can also be written as 180 can also be written as 51 all over 182 therefore 51 all over 182 is filled in two and a half minutes we want to find out what portion of the of the bath is left now when all the three pipes are working in two and a half minutes 51 all over 182 of 51 all over 182 of the bath is filled the remaining will be now we'll have to take the whole tank and subtract whatever has already been filled and therefore that will take us to 131 all over 182 of the tank so this is the part that is left to be filled from here we'll need to calculate what portion of the tank what portion of the tank is filled in one minute by the remaining working pipes so if we go through the question remember the question was clearly stating that how much longer will it take to fill the path if the two taps and the drain pipes are fully open for two and a half minutes after which the drain pipe is closed it therefore means the pipe which will be working will be the hot water pipe and the cold tap and when the two taps are working in one minute it will be in one minute when the two pipes are working it therefore will be one over seven of the hot pipe and one over five will be filled therefore this when you add these two you'll get 12 all over 35 Therefore, means 12 all over 35 is filled in one minute. Now, we'll have to calculate and say if 12 all over 35 of the tap is filled in one minute. Now, after how long will it take to fill the remaining part and that will be 131 all over 182 of the pipe and therefore it will take 131 all over 182 times 1 now times the reciprocal of this which will be 35 all over 12 and when you punch these figures in the calculator you finally get the answer to be two minutes and six seconds don't forget to hit the notification button bye